Hey, we're going to be testing uh, the microbiology in uh, water. So we have a water sample here. We're going to, in a different lab, be inoculating tubes, lactose tubes, to determine most probable number. For this, we have an EMB plate, and I'm just going to take a sample of the water and just streak on the EMB plate to test for lactose uh, fermenters. E. coli will uh, grow as a very uh, metallic green color. This will be incubated at 37 for 24 hours. So we're gonna put it in the incubator, let it sit, come back and check it. This is a confirmed test for water testing. You are looking and trying to confirm Firm that there are coliform bacteria that are present. These typically are enterics that are found in the intestines. So you would have previously done a test, which is a presumptive test. Now you need to confirm that there are coliforms present in the water. Uh, this is E and B, eosin methylene blue, which is a selective and differential medium. In here, what we're going to, in this First plate is from the soil sample that we did the presumptive test with. And if we look at it here, you can see there are some pinkish colored, there are several different bacteria, but there's some pinkish colored ones. Those may be enterobacter, which are commonly found in intestines, but they can also be found in the soil, on grains, etc. You can tell just by looking at it that there are several different types of bacteria, which is not surprising because it was a soil sample. Um, you can definitely tell, this is a good example of a mixed culture, and you can tell different colony characteristics, different pigmentations in here. Some are larger than others. Some are light pink. There's a very dark colored, um, kind of a beige color in there, very dark, dark uh, pink in there. Obviously, as I said, it's a mixed culture. To compare with, this plate is E. coli. E. coli on an EMB plate has a very classic uh, metallic green sheen to it. You see that shiny green sheen and no doubt about it, that is E. coli. 